first of all, uh, Irvin, how was your weekend? Or maybe yesterday? What did you do? Mm, no. <laughs> mm, yesterday. Did you advance in the platform? Yes. Uh, I I have done unit one and two, but today I will start the exam for the unit one and two and maybe um of the basic afternoon. three of, of brain three. Yes. Okay. Maybe uh, I finish all the all the pre intermediate three uh, Saturday. Okay, yes, because we are in unit uh, three, four. We start today unit four, so okay. we are almost done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, yes, I saw, a, I think, Sunday. Yes, this last Sunday, I was um, checking your your progress, and you, you are almost the unit that have advanced uh, that has a uh, sorry have advanced a lot in the in the platform so mm -hmm. thank you okay no problem and try to i mean if you are going to advance try to do first the quizzes and the last test which is from unit one to unit five because uh, there are, I won't say the most important in 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 the course, but yes, in the uh, in the whole score. Okay, so um, they have like more percentage. So try to pay attention on the quizzes. Okay, uh, I maybe uh, yeah tomorrow. I will start the final exam and later uh, complete all course. Okay, excellent. I don't know why I cannot find. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> okay, so Irving and Jorge. Hi, Jorge. How are you? Hi, teacher. I am fine. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, number seven in the list. Okay, I think we are going to start now. Uh, let me check. Jorge, you didn't... You didn't take the, the verbal test yesterday, right? <clears throat> so, Jorge, you will take... Sorry, I'm sick. You will take the test um, today with me. Okay. So, um, just give me a second. I will, I will bring water to my desk. And I'm come back. Okay. Okay, sure. Okay, sorry guys. I'm going to share the link with you.
Let me know if you can see my screen, okay? Okay, I see the screen share, the screen. Okay, thank you. So I have one question, uh, three questions for you. Did, did you remember, or do you remember this uh, drawings? Like the ones that you used to, to decorate like a love knot. Do you remember them? Or maybe this mm -hmm. uh, like, like flashcards that saw you in the, in the enter of your school. Do you remember this? Yes. Okay, so we are going to talk about love notes. So have you ever uh, written a love note, Irvin? Yes, in the, in the high school, uh, I, I wrote in uh, a lot low notes with different girls. So uh, I, you have experience. I, could, I could, yes, I consider <laughs> a romantic uh, man. So yeah, I, I, I wrote poem or maybe say in the letter, uh, you like me and different uh, expressions. So yeah, I, I, I grant, uh, a lot uh, low notes. Um, yeah, maybe, I don't know, uh, uh, how two or three girls uh, send, send me uh, to the low notes. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you. And what well, we know now that was they were for 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 girls girlfriends i suppose or just for crush crushes girlfriend and crushes at the same time yes my goodness <laughs> <laughs> okay and how old were you when you did did this wow well, um I don't remember, but uh, I did. Um, I did. <laughs> um, maybe I don't know. Around fifteen because, years old, or no? Yeah, maybe, but in, I, when when in the fifteen years old, I. Uh, child, but uh, when I have had 18, 18 oh. years old, I remember that uh, friend of no sense and different girls and my girlfriend or crouches. So, uh, yeah, it's the romantic moment, but <laughs> it's a stressful because and you have maybe you have a girlfriend or boyfriend and say you said send and the low note and maybe send other and the crush and maybe yeah for me it was what's cool but was a stressful so you were you were uh a womanizer yeah <laughs> okay okay <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And what about you, Jorge? Have you ever written a love, a love note? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh, a long, a long of time in in a, a school. In the school, okay, and just for your girlfriends or for crushes too. Uh, mm, 
fotos. Never for girlfriends. Uh, or or maybe how old were you when you did this? Uh, general one wanted to conquer her. Can you repeat? Uh, general one. Uh, wanted to conquer, conquer her. Okay. So yeah, they were for your crushes, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. And what about you, Aristides? Aristides, are you there? Uh, yes. Okay, did you? Did you ever, or did you write, uh, wrote a, a special love note to somebody? Mm, I don't remember. Uh, uh, do I, need... I don't remember. So you, you didn't do this? Maybe. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Aristides. And what about you, Raquel? Uh, I had a, a note, but like a diary nor like a love nut. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I but, ever, uh -huh. I ever like the uh, writing, but, but not about love in my joke. <laughs> Actually, yes, but only uh, for right. <laughs> 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 So, I'm ready. I'm ready. The questions. Okay, so maybe letters for your boyfriends or one boyfriend you never wrote. Mm, yes, one and the other one. <laughs> I remember I I brought a like a love knot and. But I I didn't give him and I save the note hey. in my room and my dad uh, <laughs> you know my dad is called me <laughs> and uh, he he got mad and, and I don't know how to say me regaño. <laughs> continue, continue. Uh, I, I don't know how to say me regaño, but uh, that happens and you um, you don't know how to say what me regaño <laughs> oh scold like like a reprimand or oh. or or also tell off which is more colloquial tell off ah uh, well eh uh, he tell off and I I couldn't see him anymore. Oh my goodness, that's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> because you didn't get, uh, give the courage to the, the boy, right? 
um, the the letter I I saved uh, was in, in your uh, room, like a It was a love knot with uh, write it with pen with a pencil and I I give him other knot write it with a pen. Uh -huh, okay. Interesting. Okay, thank you guys to share these experiences. Uh, I ask this because if you hear, if you see here, we use present perfect and then simple past because we are going to have a versus. So let me see. Jorge, help me read, please. Okay, present perfect. Uh... What do you say, versus? Versus? Ah, versus. <laughs> Present person versus simple past. We use the present perfect for indefinite times before now. Examples. I have eaten been, beans all this week. My brother has read Reading um, motorcycle, motorcycle, <laughs> motorcycle, several times. I have gone swimming for years. Okay, thank you. So we use the present perfect for in in the in indefinite times before and now. Okay. So the key. To understand present perfect, it's that we have an ending like this. This week, do you remember uh, the last class? We, uh, the last topic was present perfect. And we were studying or learning that present perfect is for repeated actions, action that hasn't uh, finished yet. So, uh, for example, I, she has been, uh, no, she has worked on the same company for many years or for 10 years. So it's an action that hasn't finished yet. That's the same case here. This week hasn't finished. That's why we use have eaten. That means the present perfect. The same case here because it's repeat, uh, repeated action. And this is an action that hasn't finished yet. I have gone swimming for years. I continue going or go swimming, okay? So can you give me an example, Raquel? I have. Uh, I am thinking. <laughs> uh, I maybe, have... maybe with eat something. Uh, I have eaten. I have eaten pizza all the week. Okay, very good example. Because the week hasn't finished yet, we can say we can use present perfect. But what happened if I say last week? What do you think, Irvin? Thank you. 
Mm, repeat the question, please. We use present perfect uh, when we uh, talk about several times, for example, repeated actions or action that hasn't finished yet. For example, yes. this week. But if I say last week, it's in past. Mm -hmm. It's in past. Sorry, I don't know why I. Oh, here is. Okay. So we have here the simple past. If you are going to talk about in past and the action stopped in the past, you are going to use just a, this type of endings like last week in, in 2010 or yesterday, the last year, the last months, okay? For a specific time in the past. So help me read a uh, Aristides. Present perfect versus simple past. We use simple past for a specific time in the past. Example, I ate beans the last week. My brother learned to ride a motorcycle in 2010, right? Yes. I went swimming yesterday. Okay, thank you. So you see here, we are going to use the verb in past. Here, the verb in present perfect and the, uh, sorry, the, the present perfect tense and the verb in past participle. And this is the key to understand this. So, um, let me see. Irving, can you give me an example? Okay, I did my homework yesterday. Very good job. So, let me see. Raquel, can you tell me the difference between present perfect and simple past? Mm. Present perfect. Uh, it's an action that has not finished. And simple past uh, is an action uh, that has finished. And what is the key to identify them? Let me see, Jorge. How can I identify a simple present sentence and a simple past sentence? Uh, in the time bear, uh, present perfect, uh, the bear is is um, <laughs> um no no <laughs> not a notice okay thank you this phrase is the key if you are talking in the past an action that has that hasn't sorry, that has finished, you are going to use this type of phrases. Last week, last summer, last Christmas, and in this one, just repeated actions or moments that or time that hasn't finished yet, okay? So, uh, do you have any doubt about the topic? No. Okay, so we are going to practice. Just give me a second. 
I will finish to take the attendance list. Because we are a lot today. <laughs> Let me see Giovanni. In Jorge Raquel. Okay. Just give me a second. I will show you your activity. <clears throat> Okay, can you see it? Yes. Yes. Thank you. So this is a worksheet. All that you have to do is to complete it, okay? To put the correct um the correct uh, tense. Okay. Paying attention on the phrase, the last phrase, or on the context, okay? Then you click on finish. Oh, I cannot. Oh my goodness, I cannot do so. Give me a second. I don't know why I cannot send. Okay, you cannot receive the answer you cannot check the answer if you don't put a here. Click on terminado and put your name in FSJ. Okay. Like okay. that. And you click on send and you will have your score. Okay. Okay. I will share with you the link. Uh, in the meanwhile, let me see, Giovanni, please uh, join uh, to the breakout room because I am going to take you the test. You and Jorge, because you, you don't have the, the score for the verbal test. Okay, so Giovanni, are you there? Hello, Giovanni. Please join, okay? The rest of you will work right now. If you don't join, uh, join the breakup room, you won't have the, the score. And it's important for you because Codigo, Codigo will check your, your scores. Okay, so please join. I will see you later, get, uh, guys. Work on the on the activity, and then I will I will come for Jorge. Okay. Okay.
Hello, Giovanni. Are you there? Can you talk, uh, Giovanni? Yes. Okay, excellent. So uh, we are going to have a test to, to put you at score or to assign you a score. And don't worry, they are easy questions. So you will do it well, okay? Are you ready? Uh, you can do it, don't worry. So, are you ready, you ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, so which is your favorite movie gender and which one do you dislike? And tell me why. Uh, my favorite movie is science fiction and 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 I dislike. Uh, Comer. Comer. Yeah. Eat. No, no. I just like comedy movies. Ah, oh, okay, okay, comedy. Okay, why? Comedy, funny. <laughs> Yes, but, but uh, they don't make me love. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and can you tell me your daily routine? Um, I usually get up at 6 a.m. Um, Then, then uh, I eat very fast and go to the OU and university. Yeah. Um. After. Uh, I go to the gym and I'm back to home. Um, I take a shower, uh, I eat dinner, then I watch TV or play video games, and, and then I go to a sleep. Okay, that's all? Yeah. Okay, and can you give me some advice? This is my situation. I need to save money to buy a house, but I really, 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 really want to buy a car. Which one should I buy? Can you recommend me some uh, idea of what I have to do? Mm -hmm.
Uh, personally, I show by the house. Uh, maybe since is the most essential. The car can wait. Okay, thank you. So, Giovanni, maybe you have to get, you have to improve your fluency because I, I, I don't hear you in the class. So if you don't talk, if you don't practice, you won't practice, uh, you never practice. Okay, so try to try to practice more, try to participate more in the class, because if not, I don't know if you if you practice um, after the class or like at night or something like that, or in the evening, like in a short time, maybe with Duolingo, something like that. I don't know if you do that, but we have uh, 40, uh, 24 hours on the day, on a whole day. And we are here just one hour. So if you don't practice here, maybe you don't practice in, in any other time. If, and if you don't practice here, you want to improve your, your, your speaking abilities, okay? So try to uh, improve, try to practice more, try to participate, because if not, you, you, win, you won't learn English. You know, English, you learn or you improve your fluency English or fluency speaking, just practicing, okay? So try to do it, uh, try to participate more in the class uh, because I, I, I always uh, see you in the class, but you hardly ever answer when I ask you. So try to do it because it's for you. If you want to get your goals, if you want to achieve them, if you want maybe earn more money, if you want to maybe call a work in a call center, you have to know English to get more money. So try to do it. It's for, for you. Okay. So that's all uh, you can. We are going to come back to the main session. Um, I'm going to share again with you the link to, to, to fill the blanks and that's all. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can leave the the break open. Hello, guys. Did you finish the activity? Uh, not yet. Okay. Okay. I will share with you again the link if you in case you you need it. And also I will share with you the next uh, link. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, guys, I share with you again the link of the worksheet and also I share with you this activity. So it's a roller wheel and you have to put the correct one, simple a present perfect or a simple past. So you click on it and for example, this one, 
you fill in the blank. And if, if it is a question like this one, when you school, you answer it. I mean, if you don't have, if you don't go to the school, don't worry. But if they are questions, try to answer them, okay? Uh, Jorge, okay. thank you, Irvin. Jorge, are you ready? Jorge, are you there? Yes. Okay, we are going to, you are going to join a breakup room and we are going to have the verbal test there. Okay. Okay, so we are here. I'm going to share the link. Sorry, the, to share my screen here. Sorry for the voice. Can you see the screen? I see. Okay, excellent. So, Jorge. They are just three questions. They are easy, I promise you. Try to bring details and try to use as much uh, topic that you learn in, in brain two as you can, okay? So, uh, are you ready? Yes. Excellent. Which is your favorite movie genre? And which one do you dislike? And tell me why. Uh, my favorite movie genre is uh, superhero. And um, uh, why I like my super uh, I like superhero uh, uh, I like movies for superhero uh, the, the Marvel comics or the universe, universe cinematography of Marvel, uh, the movies of the movies of DC comics. I like it too. Uh, I like not movie genre is uh, romantic movie. Uh, why? Uh, why? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. And can you tell me your daily routine? Uh, okay. Uh, my 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 daily routine uh a star uh I I get up I get out uh, seven or eighteen 
o club eh, leather leather eh, I, I I enter in this class eh, leather leather I prepare my breakfast eh, leather leather I eat breakfast eh, with with coffee and I uh, uh, sep I ten I ten o'clock I enter in my class of program programmation and later I prepared my my uh, lunch uh, in the afternoon I I I I walk uh, sometime and and I and I study uh, a lot of uh, programmation and English. I study English a lot of uh, in in the night. No, at night. At night. Uh, I watch videos in YouTube and I eat in my my dinner leather leather eleven or twelve uh, I go to the bedroom. Finish. Okay, thank you. And I need that you give me uh, some advice, okay? So this is the situation. You need to save money. Sorry, I need to save money to buy a beautiful house. And I really need the house. But I really, really, really want to buy a car. Which one should I buy? Oh. I like I like uh, a beautiful house but I need I need a car uh, I don't know uh, so which one uh, can you recommend me to buy a house or to buy a car I recommend uh, my my recommended is uh, you should you should buy buy a house okay okay thank you uh, so for him uh, you you need to improve your pronunciation and also your fluency okay uh, because you make a lot of uh, pauses when you are talking. So try to improve your fluency. 
and also uh, maybe search for some some songs or podcasts to improve your pronunciation. Or also you can download du Duolingo, and there is a um, like um an image of a uh. I don't remember the, the word, but it's it has the option, Duolingo has the option to hear the exercises. So there you can improve your pronunciation, okay? Hearing songs, hearing podcasts, hearing audiobooks, hearing a, if you watch videos on YouTube, you can watch videos in English. Uh, you can uh, put subtitles to understand better and to know which word uh, has this pronunciation, okay? And also, uh, to get more fluency, you have to practice and practice and practice a lot. Um, maybe with a, with a friend, with a, a family member, or even here, but try to speak a lot because, you know, the day has uh, 25, 24 hours and we just practice one hour here, okay? So try to practice more, try to improve your pronunciation and that's all, okay? Thank you, Jorge. Okay, teacher, thank okay. you. Okay, we are going to come back to the main session. Okay, I don't remember or coffee yet. Present I, perfect. I haven't. I haven't. Drink. Drunk. Drunk. Drink, drink. Mate or coffee yet? Yeah. I haven't wow. drank mm, mate or meat or, or coffee yet. Uh, guys, um, I saw yes. some of your uh, mistakes in the platform, uh, in the workshop. And if there is the word or the, fre uh, the frequency adverb never, you have to put it on the, on the answer. That's why you got a, a wrong answer. Uh, because if that's never, you have to include never. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I have never uh, maybe climb el pital, something like that. So you see, you put never. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. And Irvin, I couldn't see uh, your answers because you just uh, take a photo of the score. But I suppose uh, well, maybe if you already, or if you have the scores, the, the answers, please take a photo or a screenshot and send me to, okay. help, you, mm -hmm, to help you. Um, Guys, I just wanted to, oh, my camera was off. I just wanted to mention or to remember to work on the platform to try to practice English even if you are not here in the class uh, as I, wa I was mentioned before uh, you can pay or, or hmm. yeah you can pay attention or more attention on the quizzes in the last uh, the finish test which is uh, from unit one to unit five because even if they are not uh, completely important on the course on your scores they are okay so try to complete them to to have a score 
okay? Because you need the score, Código, check this uh, scores. So please try to do it. Um, be patient, but also try to work. And then you can complete all the exercises on the platform, okay? Because they yeah. have more, uh, like more percentage. So I have to do it again and send you a screenshot again. No, if you if you did it, don't worry. It's it's okay if you already passed the, the, the tests in the in quizzes in the in the platform. But for uh, the ones that haven't finished or completed the the tests in the platform, please do it. Okay, because I need to to put you scores to assign you scores okay and that's why i am i am taking you tests verbal tests also okay okay uh that's all for the class thank you for being here uh, thank you for your attention and for your participation have a nice day and enjoy your day okay thank you